हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन द ऑनलाइन क्लास ऑफ बीएससी पार्ट फर्स्ट बायो पेपर फर्स्ट वी आर स्टडिंग अबाउट फॉसिल्स इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट द टाइप्स ऑफ फॉसिल्स द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ फॉसिल्स एंड द कंडीशंस रिक्वायर्ड फॉर फॉसिलाइजेशन डियर स्टूडेंट्स वाइल स्टडिंग अबाउट द फॉसिल्स इन दीज लेक्चर्स we realized that the history of life on earth is recorded in the rocks in the language of fossils the fossils are of many types of remains of prehistoric animals and plants that give evidence of the presence of organisms in the past the most frequential encountered fossils as we have seen are of the hard parts of animals or plant bodies like bones teeth shells exoskeleton or the venation of leaves that were replaced by the minerals and that turned into stones so today we will study about the significance of the fossils the study of fossils provides following clues number 1 the fossils are strat- stratigraphic indicators that means the clue to the age of the rocks can be obtained from the fossils they contain there is a definite relationship between the fossil contents of a rock and the position of the rock in the geologic column the older fossils are found in the bottom strata and the younger fossils are laid on top of the old strata sometimes the use of fossils to demonstrate the relationship of certain rock units is referred to the paleontological correlation ship this principle of superimposition enables the stratigrapher to estimate the age of a particular rock sometimes the stratigrapher determines the sequence of the rock strata based on the law of faunal or floral succession according to this the fauna and flora are distinctive for each portion of earth's history and their fossils are formed one after the other in a definite order based on this principle he determines the rock strata when it has been disturbed by deformation of the earth's crust sometimes the use of fossils to demonstrate the relationship of certain rock units is referred to as the paleontological correlation some methods of the paleontological correlations are number 1 guide or index fossils the fossils which characterize certain strata are called as the guide fossils these are the remains of the rapidly evolving species that lived only for a very short duration in the geologic history but had a widespread distribution when alive then comes the fossil assemblages sometimes the rocks contain more than one species of fossil assemblages under such situations the stratigrapher decides first the type of the organisms involved in those assemblages which lived during the time when the rock was deposited secondly he also determines the relative abundance of each of the species then based on this information he accurately correlates two or more geologic sections by comparing the fossil assemblages in each section then the third point the third uh, paleontological correlation that is described is the stage of evolutionary development the paleontological correlations can also be made on the basis of similarity of evolutionary development between 
the groups of organisms appeared in the same strata or rock. This type of correlation is seen in the phylogeny of horses. The record begins with Hyracotherium, the dawn horse, which was about the size of a small dog. It is the primitive known horse which appeared in Ecocene. The later horses which appeared in the successive periods of Cenozoic area were larger in size. Now, the evidence in favor of organic evolution. Another sig significance of fossils is that they provide evidence in favor of organic evolution. According to the theory of organic evolution, the more advanced forms of today had evolved from the simpler and more primitive ancestral forms living in the past. That is, life was simple and then at the, during the evolution from the simpler forms, the more complex forms evolved. The fossils of the organisms in the older rocks are found to be more simple than contained in the new rocks or those living today. Then the fossils and the prehistorical life. The fossils provide useful information about the animals living in the past and the giant dinosaurs, the trilobites are known from their fossil records only. Another significance is the pedigree of certain animal groups. The evolutionary history of certain animal groups is so completely depicted by the fossil records that almost a completely unbroken sequence of different ancestral forms has been obtained. Pedigrees of horse, pedigree of elephants and of camels can be quoted as examples of such fossil records. The fifth significance of fossils is fossils and paleography. With the help of fossils, it is possible to reconstruct the ancient geography of earth. By observing the nature of the fossils of a particular area, it is possible to depict the habitat of that area. For example, the presence of fossils of trees or stumps indicates the terrestrial environment. Similarly, the fossils of corals and echinoderms are suggestive of the marine environment. The sixth significance, fossils as climate indicators. The fossils help in determining the climate condition of the geological periods. For example, the glacial or the colder conditions are indicated by the presence of such fossils like musk, ox and reindeers. And the seventh important significance of fossils is they act as indicators of oil and minerals. Since many of our important resources are associated with sedimentary rocks, the fossils when present may be of help in locating ores, coal, oil and gas. Valuable deposits of radioactive minerals have been discovered in sedimentary rocks. Uranium was found in some specimens of fossil woods and bones of certain fossil reptiles and mammals. The limestone and sandstone beds are formed largely due to the deposition of fossils. The, the trigonia stone of the lower Cretaceous period is a well-known example of such stones. This stone also contains 
large number of cast and moles of marine clams and snails our knowledge on micro fossils has greatly benefited the petroleum industry the majority of the micro fossils comprise the remains of invertebrates like the foraminifers the regularians the spawn spicules echinoids and holothurian fragments and also the microscopic branchiopoda and mollusks but from all of these the foraminiferans is the most important group so the study of the fossil records is comparable to an excursion through the prehistoric time telling all about the physical conditions of the earth the vegetation and the animal life although so fruitful and fascinating the science of study of fossils is of very recent origin and it dates back to 19th century